Hello and welcome to another interesting conversation on the Business Plus with me Rachel Kahugu. Now, today we are at Reliable Concrete Works Limited. This company has been working for 47 or 48? 48. 48. Yeah, we're well, old, we're old. 48 years now and it's a company that has made a lot of profit and today we're going to know everything about making carb rolls, making everything that concerns cement. So don't go far, let's go through this conversation with you because business is more than meet the eye. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Rachel. Doing? Hi. How are you? I'm very fine. Yes. Introduce yourself. My name is Njeri Mwangi. I'm the Operations Director of Reliable Concrete Works. Mm -hmm. You might be wondering why a woman. We are in what we call the precast concrete manufacturing space. Uh -huh. And that's what we do best. Karibuni. All right, so mm. that's how I know. Mm. This company has been in operation, operation yes. for 48 years now. Imagine. 48. 48. It wow. was registered in 1974. 74 then? But it has been op in operation. It started proper business in 1976. Mm. Mm. So two years later. Three. Well, you know, I don't look 47, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was not yes. born either, yeah. so I did not start the company. Mm -hmm. The company was started by somebody called Lavan Gatia Moshemi. Uh -huh. He is late mm -hmm. and uh, he had traveled to India. Mm -hmm. And when he went to India, coming from Kenya, he noticed something. Mm -hmm. That the Indians were building their houses very fast, uh -huh. efficiently. Mm -hmm. Like basically, he would wake up in the morning and on Okuta Imepanda. Imesha and Zakazi. And he's wondering how, how is this possible? Mm -hmm. Coming from an African country, mm -hmm. Kenya specifically, whereby we had just about attained independence, yeah. and he's wondering how can I help my people mm -hmm. to have decent housing mm -hmm. at a fast rate, as fast as what he saw there. Mm -hmm. So that is how the whole idea was born? That is how it was birthed, mm -hmm. or rather it was conceived. Mm -hmm. Akapata Mimba. Mm -hmm. He came back home and he started saying that that is what he wants to do. Yeah. But even when he was there, he was researching how can this be done. Mm -hmm. So he was learning. Mm -hmm. He was somebody who was in agriculture. Yeah. So you can imagine, mjama kuangalia ngombe na kupanda maindi, ameanza kuangalia mawe na kokoto. Exactly. Uh -huh. So when he came back, um, he started looking for land. Mm -hmm. That was his first inspiration. Right. Look for land mm -hmm. and I should be able to start a business like what I saw. Yeah. So he came to Nakuru and he discovered what you're seeing as reliable. Uh -huh. He acquired two acres so this of was land. The first place. First place. Uh -huh. So that tells you reliable concrete works. It's not moving anywhere. Yeah, it go to our it yeah. has grown, it has roots. So that is how he started the business, mm -hmm. bought the land, mm -hmm. and now started acquiring the skill. He was a, a person who loved reading and researching. Mm -hmm. And that's how Reliable was born. So he didn't even study for anything like engineering or Apana. anything of the sort? Ni mutu wa biashara. Uh -huh. You know one thing I've learned, Rachel? Uh -huh. In business, it's not about what you study. Uh -huh. It's the passion you create the around. Of... Yes. All right. Around something like what we're experiencing right now. Uh -huh. And uh, he came back. Uh -huh. he, he got some engineering friends who made him like a block making machine. Yeah. By the way, these blocks mm -hmm. nowadays are made with a very big machine yeah. right here. Uh -huh. But back then, it was a very, what we call a pedestrian machine. Mm -hmm. machine, in fact, ilikuwe nito egg lane. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwe na kakama kuku. Hey. Ju ilikuwe na kachini, alafu na angusha mawe. Oh, kuku. yeah. I think yes. I, I've ever seen something like that. Exactly. Uh -huh. And the capacity was small. Ju ilikuwe na tuatu tumawe twine, one, two, three blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, paka four. Sorry, ni paka four. Yes. Jumesabu ni four. Okay. So ilikuwe na tuatu tu blokine. Alafu inatembea tena, inataga yeah, blokine. Hivyo tu. But that tells me, mtu menye anataka kwanza such a business uko enje. It can't be that hard. No, you can it, start from there, right? You can start from a point uh -huh. for as long as you have the will and the idea. The idea. Mm. All right, now for concrete. Yes. Um, for reliable concrete, mm. what? Mm -hmm. What is your target? Nani mina target kabisa? Ukona ploti. Where went your target yangu? So anyone when you have a plot out there? Anyone who has a plot. Mm -hmm. And the desire to build not only a home, any structure. You are my target market. Wow. So, yeah. I want to start such a business. Yes. Omenembe, I can start from anywhere. Yes. What do you mean by starting from anywhere? Let me start this way. Uh, right now, do you have 700 bob on you? Uh -huh. Nunua simiti. Uh -huh. Do you have about 1,000 bob? Uh -huh. Nunua ndo mbili za kokoto. Uh -huh. uh, do you have another 1,000 bob? Uh -huh. 
Unaona ndo ingine mbili ya you know ya inaitwa sand. Eh sand. Uko na maji. You can even start at home. The beauty so about you can even start such a business from home. Yes, from home. Mm -hmm. You see what when when I hear most people complaining that there are no jobs. Mm -hmm. This is a job that number one nowadays to kona Dr. Google. Yeah. Kama ni ratios, kama ni how it can be done, unezanza na hiyo. You can even make a mold ya mm -hmm. kutengeneza hii number or two. Uh -huh. And you start small. Mm -hmm. And you grow into it. Because uh, when Mze started the business I can assure you, he did not start with even half of the machines we have. Yeah. There were no structures, there were no shades that mm. you see. Hakukwa kwa hizi go down zunaona. Everything is manual. Land. Yes. Akanza from there. You start from there. All right. So the first thing is also where we understand how this product is made, mm. how it can be improved. Mm. Anza manual pale nyumbani, soma. Mm. Create a demand for your product. Okay. And ajaribu kuzia watu. Once the, pro the demand is created, we are here to make money. Yes, we are here to make here money to make for business. Exactly. So apart from easy Lenny no Napa, what yeah. other products do you have? Uh, for us, we have a, a list product list of about 300 products. Wow. 300 products, I'll say, because they have variants. So you'll find a block like this, maybe nitakwambia ini block ya size six hollow, kuna size six solid. So they go with different varieties and that's how they end up being 300 products. Okay. Uh, but what we, we are selling and what we, we are selling to the market right now, mm -hmm. we are telling them that you can cut your construction cost. Mm -hmm. Because you can plot, you can kujenga. So we are giving you a solution mm -hmm. to put up your structure at a, an affordable price. Mm -hmm. So we are selling you hollow blocks. Tunakuzia kitu inaitwa hollow pod ambayo inatumika kwa slab. That is if you're building mjengo ambayo inaenda juu. Yes. And then we're also selling culverts. Mm -hmm. We are selling decorative items, kama cabro for your uh, drainage solution. Yeah. We are selling... Also, so certain pavements with very beautiful, all colored and sizes, Si umeona shapes. town? Yes. Si umeona town vile kuna ka? Mm -hmm. Kitu kama iyo. By the way, unaona vile ukona hills. Mm -hmm. Ukitembea town na wezi yanguka. Kuko tu sawa. Kuna paving blocks pale. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that we so are those, doing. So those are some of the services that you guys have, the product. Yes, the all products, right. yes. So for you guys, mm. Noble Mendelea, you know it's a big company. Mm -hmm. Do you face any challenges? Of course, challenges are many. Number one, uh -huh. ni wafanyi kazi. Mm -hmm. I will start with that one as one wafanyi kazi. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm saying wafanyi kazi, people normally look at this business as a very menial job. Mm -hmm. As you look there, you can see we have women, we yeah. have men. Mm -hmm. But when they look at it, wataki kazi chafu, especially That's the current generation. Mm -hmm. So just empowering them that this could be something that earns them money is a problem. Um, they do not want to learn on the job. Wanataka kukuja mtu afanye vitu haraka haraka. That is one of the things. You don't get labor very readily available, yeah. Yeah. especially trained labor. Mm -hmm. So they have to come and this becomes a school. Uh -huh. So you, they have to come, then you train them for it. We train them for it. Ata kama alienda college, unuona hako an expect ata ifanya vitu kama hizi. So we come and retrain them to so our system. So your employees when kujanga, so then you train them after Amifika? They have to be trained to the reliable standard. Okay. Hakuna vile ataingia tu na asiku wako trained. Mm. The other problem that we have, of course, is the government. Eh? Mm. The government has a lot of demands. Eh? Yeah. From uh, what tunasema neema, environmental, unakuto unambio atio, disposal ya, ya easy, uh, you know, like the waste product. Yeah. You have all those things that come with the government quarters that they demand of you, but the support is not there. It's not clearly articulated. Yeah. Unataka kwa na license, mara wana kuambia kuna noise and pollution, nile unatengeneza. Lakini hawambiwi in a documented way. Yeah. Nile leo uyu anakuja, anakuambia, tumekuja, tumewashika juya hii. Kesho yake, tumewashika juya hii. Eh. Yeah. So we, we believe the government can do a lot because they are telling us to create jobs. Mm -hmm. We are creating jobs. Like today, as we speak, we have about 55 workers. This is one of our lowest day, ya workers, because normally it's about 80, even up to 100 at times. If we are creating jobs, it would be, you know, paramount for the government then to support, to support us, yeah. make sure that ease of it on a demand of us, they've put them in place, yeah. and they give us even malipo ya pole pole. Because kazi si consistent. Mm -hmm. By the time you train ule jamanze kutoa product, yeah. i product yes, inaka yes. apa ikauke. Mm -hmm. It takes time to get the money. So we'd want the government to support us in, in this initiative, whereby we are creating jobs, 
and we are trying to give affordable housing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So um, you've mentioned something about your employees. Mm. For someone, when you will say, "Come on, attack a be a share and it's yeah. from home." Yes. Do I need someone else to help me, like an engineer, and on your nature, this is, is what we're supposed to do? Yeah. And I can just start the job alone. What are you going um, if I told you that you needed an engineer, an engineer is expensive. You can always start with Dr. Google. Ingia so kwa Dr. Google. Google engineer. What you are doing is you have a Dr. Google. You uh -huh. get these formulations. You have a lot of money. You have a lot of public works. You have a lot of money. Una peleke una ambia nimetengeneza hii na unakuwa na ya different days. Uko na ya 7 days, 14 days, 21 days. Anakufanyia crash test. Anakwambia hapa hii kitu litengeneza iko week. And the beauty about them they even give you tell you how you can mix. So lakini start from a point. Unajua si tumezoea kupatiwa. Anzia mahali uko. Anzia pale uko na ile capacity uko nayo. So kutoka hapo watakupatia formulation wakwambia inaka uliaka simiti kidogo, ongeza hii, ongeza hii. Peleka tena testing, hivyo. Pako upate the formula? The formula. Wacha ni kuambie, ata yeah. sisi pale tuko, 48 years down the line, yeah. we still take our stuff for testing and we still look for more insights on how to improve the product so every day. So you're improving them daily, 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 day in, day out? Daily. In fact, here we have a quality control officer. The quality control officer, that is exactly what he does. Mm. Anakula, anamuka, kuangalia. Ile ilitengenezo jana, iko sawa. Ili uh -huh. ilitengenezo na ratio gani. Kwa nini ile ili backfire? Do, do you, sometimes they do backfire. They do backfire. So any one of the challenges. Oh, that is one of the challenges. Uh -huh. Ata simiti na kujanga imearibika. Unatengeneza na yote, unadispose. Yeah. All right. Mm. So, in the knowledge, we have very heavy materials here. Eh. Easy mawezote and mm. everything. How do you ensure that you are safe and mm -hmm. your employees be wako safe? Usifike mm -hmm. siku moja usikie mtali angukiwa na mawe. Mm -hmm. They no more. Hey, Rachel, unakupenda, unapenda. What? Niwezikia tu employees, employees. What happens is, mm -hmm. number one, in this organization, we do take insurance. Mm -hmm. Tuko na kitu inaito WIBA. Because accidents has a sangi. Mm -hmm utapata saa zingine kwa accident. Mtu anaweza beba hii mawe imkate kidole. Exactly. So those are the things that we back in and helps us. Mm -hmm. The other thing tuko na dosh ambayo tunachukua hapa hivi kwa pub nini kwa labor office mm -hmm. tunaweza kuchukua dosh mm -hmm. ambayo pia wan huwa wanakuja wanatuambia angalieni hii area this is what you should do. Mm -hmm. Hapa hivi ndio mtaweza kujikinga from accidents. Mm -hmm. They help us with all that. Eh? Mm -hmm. But uh, I would tell you most people don't go through that route. I think uh, some time back I was telling somebody w we really try to be compliant mm -hmm. because it's for our own benefit. Because yeah. mtu akiumia na easy product ama hata machine, mm -hmm. nani ana lose? So hata ukianza hiyo kazi, when you're starting alone, mm -hmm. you are a little bit safe. Yeah. But unana hata you're exposed to chemicals. Exactly. Here paka tukona fuel station. Mm -hmm. So you're exposed to all those things. Eh? So at the end of the day, tukwa insurance yako. As you so continue growing, is the main thing. it's the key to co insurance. Yako. All right. Yeah. Sawa, mm. sawa. Yes. Thank you so much for that. I want mm. you to talk to someone out there when you're not going such a business. Okay. So we'll be going right into the five minute step, then we'll be back. Okay. Asante. Hello. This is Jerry Mwangi from Reliable Concrete Works. I have learned uh, several tips through my journey in this business. One of them is perseverance and patience. Would you imagine uh, manufacturing a product that requires you to wait for it to be ready to go in 21 days? During that time, you go through a lot of challenges, not only with your customers, but also with yourself. Patience is key in this trade. The moment you manufacture your product and you're marketing your product, it's not as easy as putting it out in the market. So if you become that person who gives up uh, at the first turn of events, you will give up very fast. So I would ask you, as you get into business, have a spirit of perseverance. Number two is dedication. Dedication to your dream, to your goals. What I've learned again, especially here at Reliable Concrete Works, when you set your goal, you must stay focused in order to be able to achieve it. Because there is a lot that the market dictates. Unakuta mara unaambio nitengeneze hii, kesho nitengeneze hii, kwa nini ya mtengeneze angi hii. You must be willing to be persevering. Stick to that goal. 
know that that goal, after some time, it has some total. It's like waiting for a child for nine months. It might not come as fast as you want, but you have to be patient. The other thing, usi catch my feelings. You'll have a lot of competitors in the industry. And when you have those competitors, some of them will even poach your workers. You must be willing to teach your people the work so that they give you the quality that you expect without necessarily holding back the information. What I have seen in this industry is that unakutamtu ana hold back information kwa sababu anaogopa kutakuwa na competition. Atio mtu atatengeneza vitu kama zangu. For us, we will train you, we'll help you make sure that you can produce the best that you can for us. Thereafter, if you have to go, we are okay because the time you served us, you gave us the best. The other thing is consistency. Imagine for us, it's, or rather for me, it would be consistency in the product, consistency in the products that you deliver, consistency in keeping your word. Those are some of the tips that I have seen that have made Reliable become what it is. As you can tell, Reliable is 48 years old. And definitely I didn't start the company. It was started by somebody back in the day, a long, long time ago. When he started this business, he started it with a dream. But what has made Reliable become what it is today is focusing on the goal. We stand by the word that we are reliable. You can trust on us, you can count on us, you will always find us in the same location each and every time that you come. Once you have a dream, stick to it. It might take so much time to materialize, but patience is key. Don't be greedy is something else that I've learned. Just be patient. As you're selling your product, do not overprice your product. Focus on quality at the right price and focus at the right market. Usiko unataka kuzia kila mtu. Because this market is big. There is, a, there is a customer for every person. So don't be greedy trying to sell to everyone that you underrate your prices to a point you're not making a profit. You're on a loss. And then take care of your staff. Treat them well. Treat them well because at the end of the day, those are the people who count in the products that you will deliver. The last probably thing that I'd say, you're in business to make profit. So make sure you make profit along the whole line, not only with your customer. Most people think that profits are made by the end product. That is not where you should make your profit. Your profit comes from the processes, the way like uh, when you're buying your product, buy it at a good reasonable cost. When you're manufacturing your product, make it at a good reasonable cost. When you're, you're even handling your product, reduce your damages. So that at the end of the day, what you will get is a product that cut the cost for the customer from the beginning to the end. So that even your customer will enjoy a good price of the product. And that is my tip. My name is Jerry and you're watching Business Plus. All right, thank you so much for the five minutes tip. Najua kama kuko nje ndi want to start such a business. You've seen that it's not even that hard. You can just start with what you have and follow everything in your member and you'll be good to go. Now, Njeri, we're talking about precast concrete materials. Cindy, mm, yes. what is this precast concrete? Thank you very much. Umeongea tu vizuri kwa sababu watu wengi wanasamanga vitu za simiti. Eh, vitu za simiti. Eh, vitu za simiti. Lakini precast, precast inamanisha kitu ambacho kimeko kwa mold. Mm -hmm. Kama tuseme ni chukwe hii glass yako, uh -huh. hii glass yako, Ineza kwa mold. Uh -huh. Ineza kwa kitu ambacho kiteza ku. Eh, something itatua that you can be able to. Shape. Yes, itatua the same shape as uh -huh. this one. So now, what you put inside mm -hmm. is the concrete. Mm -hmm. Sasa what is concrete? Concrete ni mixture ya kokoto, mm -hmm. simiti, sand, mm -hmm. na maji. In equal proportions, not equal, but yeah. basically in good proportions, uh -huh. ndio iweze kutengeneza ile rojo rojo, mm -hmm ambayo inaweza mwagiliwa hapa ndani uh -huh. na isindiliwe when you remove it it gives you a shape mm -hmm. so what you're sitting on eh, 
Tunaona vile mimi nishajiweka hapa. Tunaona vile ni ka strong alafu it's even comfortable. Exactly. So this is called a calvert. Mm-hmm. Calvert ni oh, drainage solution. Oh, yani nimekalia zile vitu tunonanga kwa nini? Kwa mitaro. Kwa mitaro. Ndio hiyo sasa. All right. Na ndio uipate hivi uh-huh. nitaonesha mmoja. It's usually yake. this big. It, they are different sizes. All right. Unakumbuka nikikwambia different variants. Uh-huh. So this is one of the biggest sizes we okay. have. Okay. So hata hii kona mold yake mm-hmm. nitaonesha ile mold mm-hmm. utapata kuiona. Okay. Ile mold ambayo iko pale ambayo uh-huh. inaitengeneza inaifinyanga. Mm-hmm. Inafinyanga ile concrete uh-huh. simiti yes. mchanga nini ingine? maji eh maji uh-huh. nini ingine? tumesema kokoto eh uh-huh. kokoto yes uh-huh. so imefinyanga hizo ndio ikatoa kitu kama hii sasa yes ah all right so that is the process uh-huh. lakini ukishatengeneza uh-huh. bado ijaiva uh-huh. unajua chakula uki... after ni make all the proportions na ni make sasa kwa the mold, mold yes what else lazima uipatie time uh-huh. ya kupikika yote ni ya kupikika ah, tunaita curry 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 process uh-huh. so this is what happens unaitoa kwenye ile mold mm-hmm. alafu unaipatia how long unaipatia at least 21 days 21 days exactly ni kama kuku unajua ndio kale katifaranga ka hatch kanahitaji hey, 21 days uh-huh. so you give it 21 days na within this 21 days kuna process ambayo unafanya ya watering mm-hmm. unamwagilia maji Uliniuliza juu ya challenges. Umwagilia maji? Aha, ni vizuri umeuliza. Simiti is a chemical reaction. Sasa ile umemix hizo vitu zote hivyo, mm-hmm. they produce a chemical reaction. Mm-hmm. Na ile chemical reaction huwa inatoa joto. Mm-hmm. Na hiyo joto ndio huwa inaharibu product za ah, concrete. Okay. So you have to make sure unamwagilia maji mm-hmm. for a couple of days mm-hmm. ndio ile temperature iko ndani ya hii product ah, iweze kwenda chini. Inaenda chini. Kama hii product ambayo umekalia, mm-hmm. it's only for days old. Four days. This is four days. So we'll have to wait back and forth 21 days. Back and forth 21 complete. days. Exactly. And how do I know that iko sawa sasa? 21 days itakuwa sawa. Okay. Ulimwagilia maji at least for one week continuously. Mm-hmm. Una make sure your temperature yende chini mm-hmm. you are lowering, uh, lowering the temperatures. Mm-hmm. Then finally inafika pale temperature ya nje yeah. na ya ndani ya product okay. is the iko same. Sawa. All right. Yeah? Na ikishafika hapo uh-huh. sasa unaiacha itulie. Mm. Ni kama kupika ugali, mm. ulimix ukamix eh? Ukaiacha pale jikoni, eh. ukaanza shughuli zako za kuosha viombo yeah. lakini inaendelea kuiva na inaendelea kuiva. Yeah. Sasa hivyo ndio hii product iko. Alright. So ikishamaliza the 21 days, mm-hmm. it is good to go. Okay. Yes. Unless so, ingredients zile ulitumia zilikuwa na shida. Mm. Na the main ingredient ulikuwa na shida ni simi? simiti. Simiti ikiwa na shida, unaweza goja 21 days na ijaiva. So after that you'll have to aribu the whole thing and after so tengeneza tena. Um what we normally do mhm ukipiga macho pale aha uh-huh. pale ambapo ni umeona hapo yes 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 hiyo tunaitanga recycle bin yetu. Uh-huh. We crush them uh-huh. because right now we are living in what we call a circular economy. Uh-huh. A circular economy dictates that una recycle una reuse. Uh-huh. So that is one thing we do at Reliable Concrete Works. Okay. We do not have waste. We mm-hmm. refuse to have waste. Mm-hmm. We crush it down, mm-hmm. we formulate another formula, then we build another product. So you'll use the same thing to make another product. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Unless um, simiti ilikuwa na shida. Na shida. Na kama ilikuwa na shida. Does it mean that ndo ni tumie simiti there is something I have to look at mm-hmm. to make sure iko sawa? Simiti number 1 inakwanga na batch number. We normally check the batch number na inakwanga na expiry. Mm-hmm. But sometimes that are wow because it's an industry. Uh-huh. Waneza mix kitu vibaya na isitokee vizuri. Mm-hmm. But we were, we are able to tell once to make produce product leo. Uh-huh. Kesho yake tunaweza kuangalia na tunaweza kujua. Oh yeah, you know kama iko sawa ma it's not okay. Exactly. There is something you mentioned about um, challenges. Yes. Eh uh-huh, you have to say something about it. One of the challenges mm-hmm. I was telling you especially in the curing process. Mhm. Umesikia ni maji? Mm-hmm. So you know in our town especially in Akuru we have a shortage of water. water. Yes. That has been the biggest challenge because ah. we utilize a lot of water. Water, yeah. And water is not readily available, mm-hmm. so you keep on buying what? Water. Water. So water is one of the challenges in such a company. Kabisa. All right. And in fact what I would tell you, mm-hmm. si umeniambia re unataka kuanzisha iba kibarua. Eh. Hey. Kumbuka maji. Kumni sort mambo ya maji. Maji maji ukumbuke maji. All right. Hey. Na sasa nikianza hii biashara, hey. how long will it take mm. for it to stabilize? At least nione nimeanza ku make profit. 
I will use the standard gauge in any business. Uh -huh. All factors concerned in any business. If kama umejipanga vizuri, ku break even. Unajua break even ni ile unasema whatever niliweka ndani ya biashara, nimeweza ku kurudisha na sirudi kwa mfuko yangu kutoa pesa. So what I will tell you depending on the magnitude mm -hmm. ile will invest ita determine. Mm -hmm. Tuseme kama ni yule alianzia nyumbani na vitu kidogo. Uh -huh. Six months anaweza. Okay. Alianza na kamold kake kambao, mm -hmm. kama kamoja kasimiti, mm -hmm. aka take time akaenda ku market. Yeah. Six months ataanza kujilipa mm -hmm. kamshahara. Unaona? Alright. Lakini kama ni capacity tuseme ya reliable. Mm -hmm. Unanunua mashini kubwa kubwa. Uh -huh. By the time you pay up your loan for buying the machinery yes. and ease of it, it might take some time. Five years. Five years. Five years. So you have to be patient. You have to be patient. Because uh -huh. you want a product in 21 days. Exactly. This is a business of patience. Come and test your patience, Nihi. Nihi. Yeah. So you've mentioned Mahali about marketing. Yes. How do you market yourself? Hey. Rachel, where yes, can you listen? I know. Uh, you Apart know, eh? from media. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from media, we do a lot of media. Uh -huh. For us, we've been in the business for 48 years. Mm -hmm. The best marketing tool mm -hmm. that you can ever market is your experience uh -huh. and what you deliver to your to your clients. Mm -hmm. For us, we have had uh, clients who are in Nua Kwetu, one at Wambia like 30 years ago. I had, if you can get a Facebook page, a reliable concrete work. Mm -hmm. You will notice there is a client we interviewed mm -hmm. when you are in products Zetu Hapa mm -hmm. 43 years ago. 43 years. Yes. So what makes that client come back? Uh -huh. It's because the product was good. Mm -hmm. We have quality. Yeah. And it's we have dry. the right station. Yeah. Had to talk here. Uh -huh. Yani 43 years would throw up. Ukarudi 43 oh, so years. That's also one of the factors. You yes. can see Mahali Biashara at least make your customers understand. Yes. Ukinitaka, this is where you'll find me. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yes, reliability. Uh -huh. Ima mboya kubeba briefcase, kesho, kesho uko hapa, kesho ingini uko pale. Hey, Unatafuto, upatikani. Yes. And right. ask guys whatever service we have sent to you. Kukiwa shida. Mm -hmm. Ask any of our clients. Uh -huh. Tunakujanga full force. Okay. Quality control officer. Utakuta tasa zingine MD ya mingi hapa. Kila mtu ya mekuja. It is our concern. Mm -hmm. Na even my teams, the one wala wanakoroga simiti. It mm -hmm. is their concern. Mm -hmm. Wana uliza guy. Hii in, ndio in, hile yangu nilitengeneza. Kwa nini merudi. Yeah. They want to know. They want to know so what was the care. problem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sawa sawa. And uh, umesema kama mimi vile naiza mtia nyumbani. Yes. Vile ndi the business permit. Sitaki kushikwa na hatua ingine na government, yeah. government so inaisist kwa nayo. Mm -hmm. Lazimo kwe for any biashara kwe nayo. But mm -hmm. also I will encourage you. Mm -hmm. Systems in any business mm -hmm. are very, very important. Yeah. Umekosa iyo trade license mm -hmm. na unenda kutenda kwa government kusupply calvert. Mm -hmm. How will you get the job? So lazimo kwe nayo. At least Either kama, way. if you want to go far, do yeah. things right. All right. Get that license, it mm -hmm. will help you. Uteza kufungu account because you have, you know, the, the right permit, papers. Yeah. Ukona permit, you've registered your business. Mm -hmm. What a kutumia shortcut nyingi. All right. Talking from your experience, yes. which other licenses do you have? As guys, we have so many licenses. Tukona NEMA license, tukona mm -hmm. DOSH, zile ni kwa nakueleze. Yeah. Tukona trading licenses. Mm -hmm. uh, tukona, nini, tukona permit ya quality products, KEBS. Uh -huh. Yes. Tukona KEBS. To connect um, Ministry of Work, mm -hmm. Koneshana that our products are formulated, formulated in the right ratio. Kuna nyingi abaza tuta zinafuruka kwa kiliangu, but for us we have so many okay. across the board. All right. So, so where can I get? Kama mimi bila nataka kuanza biashara. Yes. Where can I get such a license? Trade license. Uh -huh. Kanjo. Mm -hmm. Sisi tu kopaka na zakulipa ma kodi ya shamba na uh -huh. kadalika. Kanjo will settle a lot of a their lot of initial fame. licenses. Uh -huh. In terms of quality control, mm -hmm. kuna KEBS, ambayo utapata kwa KEBS offices. Okay. Kuna ambayo kama yu NCA utapata kwa, nini, kwa NCA offices. Mm -hmm. Kuna public works pia, ambayo mm -hmm. utapata kwa public works, watakupatia certificate okay. ya kuoneshana that product zako zime. Ziko chapo uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So for me to start such a business, na yeah. ini, ini make a profit, mm. it means that I have to make sure my market is consistent. Yes. How do I make sure that my market, mm. iko sawa ispike mahali, mm. I'm making such, mm. but sina mtu wakuzia. Charity begins at? At home. So it starts with you. Everything uh -huh. starts with you. 
So you have to be consistent. Unezaanza biashara lakini hauna stock. So nikikuja kununua I don't have the stock. So make sure you have the right amount of stock. Make sure you have quality products for your customer. Then the rest will follow because you customer akikuja aone that I got the right thing. Yeah. It was there. Yeah. Next time pale akifikiria ni hapo. Atakuja tu. Na atakurifa. All right. Yeah. Sawa sawa. So because this is a very good business na msikia that if you want anything to build reliable has you back. Tuambie hiyo numbers vile tunaweza kupata kama mimi naona this is the place I'll come. Yeah. Hiya. Thank you very much Rachel. Now reliable concrete works. Number one, our address. We are located in an industrial area in mm -hmm. Nakuru. Mm -hmm. uh, and you will see us. We are yellow and blue. Yeah. To honor your gate, you cannot miss mm -hmm. it. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. You can call us on our number 0722 mm -hmm. 36 1116. Nitarudia mm -hmm. tena 0722 mm -hmm. 36 11 16. The other thing, you can contact us on our Facebook page. Uh -huh. Facebook page yetu utatupata kwa jina Reliable Concrete Works mm -hmm. Limited. Utatupata hapo. Okay. It's a very vibrant page. Uh -huh. You will always know what is on offer, mm -hmm. competitions, zambazo tuna run. Mm -hmm. Anything that we have, we Utaipata post it there. Pale. Utaipata pale. All right. Now one thing you should know, we do not only manufacture, mm -hmm. but also we do build. Mm -hmm. Tunafanya building and construction. Yeah. And our buildings have stood the test of time. Atujaskele uh meanguka na atutaskia. Kwa hivyo, you can still reach us. Mm. Rachel, yes. nyumba yako, talk to us. All right. Not only will we give you affordable building, material, uh -huh. but you we will build also for you. Build for us. Exactly. This is the place to be. So that has been Reliable Concrete Works. Now, we scared that you can start with what you have. Business is more than meets the eye. That has been this class, and my name is Rachel Kahugu. Till next time.